In today's uh, interactive session in, uh, from our lab, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be demonstrating uh, in-service throughput testing. This was introduced uh, in our last uh, firmware update and uh, is, a, is an extremely powerful feature that's really designed to allow you to uh, validate the capacity of, of a link between any two sites without interrupting the actual customer traffic flowing between those points. Uh, so this really allows you to test uh, whether or not the bandwidth that you've committed to a customer uh, in an SLA, for example, a committed information rate is uh, is available uh, even at peak usage hours when the traffic would be uh, would be most uh, busy or the network would be most congested. And um, and this can be tested uh, as all of our traffic generation at either layer two or layer three, and uh, can support up to two two streams concurrently over the customer traffic. Uh, and basically the way this uh, functions is that we we use the customer's uh, traffic flowing through the device as part of our test traffic for the RFC 2544 uh, testing functionality. And then we instantaneously are able to uh, to uh, incrementally add traffic on top of the customer's traffic until the uh, the CIR, for example, that we're testing is uh, filled up. So we can basically fill up the pipe 100% of the time and then analyze at the other end uh, if any packets were dropped from the test stream. And what we'll show you in the lab video is that the way this is designed and architected is that uh, since the test traffic that we're supplementing on top of customer traffic is essentially uh, Y1731 OAM uh, encoded frames and marked as drop eligible, that if uh, if there's a, a some sort of congestion in the tr in the uh, in the network, that our uh, generated test traffic will be dropped uh, before any customer traffic will be dropped. So it still allows customer traffic to flow unaffected, even if the network isn't performing up to the full uh, specification. So in the lab video uh, today, we're going to go through uh, four different scenarios in terms of uh, throughput testing. Uh, first, we're going to show uh, how, to, how we can use this feature to test a committed information rate of a service, uh, even if a customer's traffic may, uh, may be bursting or uh, irregular during the test. Uh, we're going to show also how we can test the, the excess information rate of a service uh, as well. And then we're going to introduce an impairment into the traffic flow and uh, show how uh, the customer's traffic uh, remains unaffected, but the, uh, the test traffic is the first one to be dropped. Uh, we're also going to follow that with a short demonstration of, uh, of uh, regular uh, traffic generation tests, uh, very targeted tra traffic generation where you would actually create a traffic flow uh, to add an incremental layer of traffic on top of a customer's traffic. And this would typically be used to uh, provision a new service, for example, if you wanted to see if a voice over IP uh, service or a new managed service could be overlaid on top of a customer's existing link without uh, altering performance of the link. Uh, also to see what would happen, for example, on network over, over subscription if the customer began to use, let's say, 20% more uh, of their bandwidth than they use today. Um, and the same, uh, the same uh, applies with the test traffic that we'd be striping over the customer's traffic is that uh, it can be set uh, to a drop eligible state so that if something has to be dropped off the line, the customer's traffic is still, uh, again, unaffected. So these are, these are the two forms of uh, traffic generation that are in the unit for uh, in-service testing. One is pure in-service and the other one uh, would be uh, incremental traffic addition. And uh, so with that, we'll, we'll switch to our, our video set up over here. <clears throat> uh, what we're going to use today here is the, the sun, uh, Sunrise Sunset and MTT uh, test set to generate the traffic. Now this is going to uh, kind of demonstrate our uh, um, our customer traffic and what I've uh, what I've set up here is to have it uh, go in in bursts. It's, it's um, uh, to try and get as much uh, kind of randomness as, as possible. Um, and as, once it's injected into one of our NIDs here Basically, what is going to be uh, what, is, what is, is going to happen is that uh, it's going to be combined into the um, the in-service test that's going to be done between these two outer NIDs here. So the uh, the in-service RFC uh, 2544 throughput test is going to be done between these two NIDs while there's traffic running through uh, from the uh, from the test set and looping back on this cable here all the way back to the test set so that we can be sure that we haven't lost any packets that, uh, that uh, have been generated from the test set. So if we look over on the screen here, um, basically what we've got set up here is a, uh, the in-service RFC 2544 test is set up such that 
I'll be sending five megabits per second, trying to send five megabits per second, but of course that is going to be in combination with the, uh, the, the customer traffic. So if there's a certain amount of customer traffic, this, uh, this rate will adjust accordingly uh, to uh, basically fill in the, uh, the SLA. Usually customer traffic would stay below the CIR and maybe peek into the EIR once in a while. So what we want to uh, test right away, what we can try and test is the, the CIR to be sure that if we fill the pipe with uh, 4 megabits per second all the time, are we, uh, are we, is there any possibility of losing any packets or uh, can, we, can we attain that? So if I set this value to go to 4 megabits per second, <clears throat> and I start up the, uh, the in-service test. So as I had mentioned before, um, I've got this set to do uh, burst traffic and it's going in between, it's, it's bursting from uh, one megabit up to uh, four megabits per second. So if I start this, we can see here that the, uh, that the rates are going between one megabit per second and four megabit per second. So this traffic is being injected into the first NID here which is also the one starting the uh, sending the uh, the in-service RFC 2544 traffic. So now what we see on the graph over here is that the the black line is demonstrating the uh, the customer traffic, which is in bursts, and we see it here. This is one megabit per second here, and this is uh, this is uh, four megabits per second, which was our CIR as we mentioned. So what we can see happening here, the uh, the red bar is a combination of both of the uh, the traffic. So what's happening is the uh, the RFC 2544 uh, traffic will be filling in this area, which uh, happens to be three megabits per second, and dropping down to zero when the customer traffic has peaked out the uh, the CIR. <clears throat> so that's uh, right there. That's basically proving that we can fill the uh, the CIR in uh, the committed information rate of the the uh, service level agreement. Okay. Uh, so now I'd like to see, uh, Gordon, if you could demonstrate to us how the same sort of test could validate an excess information rate, or an EIR. And I believe in this case we'd be adding like a one, megabyte, uh, one megabit per second EIR to uh, the traffic. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So uh, if we look back to our, uh, our chart here, the, the second chart here was uh, kind of showing um, the EIR level at the top here, which was, uh, as we had mentioned before, if we were taking uh, uh, an example SLA of uh, 5 megabits per second, which was the uh, committed information rate of 4 plus the one extra uh, EIR to give us the, the, the complete 5 megabits per second, Perfect. we can just adjust our uh, in-service RFC 2544 test to now go at uh, 5 megabits per second. What we'll see on the graph here is again the bursts of, uh, of traffic, uh, of customer traffic, and uh, the red line is staying constant at the top here at uh, 5 megabits, megabits per second, which uh, again is the, the combination of the two. Now, so this is basically showing that we were, were able to attain the, uh, the EIR uh, that was uh, agreed upon in the, uh, the SLA, but most importantly what we want to see is that the, the customer traffic is not being affected uh, during these tests. So if we look over at the uh, the test set here, we can see the the amount of transmitted frames to the uh, amount of received frames. And if I stop this traffic, what we'll see here is that not one packet has been lost. So this is uh, showing our um, our customer traffic right here, in that it was not affected at all while the RFC 2544 in-service test was running. <clears throat> 